My name is Peter G. My name is Fred Brown. And we are saving Paul Prince. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this interview opportunity today. So tell me, what is Saving Paw Prints? Saving Paw Prints is a non-profit organization where we try to 3D print prosthetic legs and um, wheelchairs for dogs which have paw backs or support systems. And yeah. Um, that's really much it for uh, the Saving Paw Prints. Uh, we try and make it free of charge for, uh, for everyone that they can afford it and that it doesn't cost too much money, um, of course. And then the people who do have the money are able to spend the money on expensive prosthetics, but we want to help everyone and everyone. Yeah, sure. Well, great. This sounds like a, a wonderful idea. So where did you actually come up with the concept for this? Uh, I actually thought of the idea because we have a project at school called Enable, which makes hands, uh, 3D prosthetic hands for uh, people who don't have hands, and we thought we would adapt that idea to dogs because... Yeah, so, so it would help. We wanted to do something not only for humans, but for animals as well, because we were both put in the group for animal quality, and that was very a very important thing for us because, um, yeah, not only humans would get the hands, but also dogs. And it's very cheap, of course, so, and, yeah, so it's, that gives us an advantage. Great. So tell me a little bit about the research that you've done so far. We try to find the population of dogs um, that are handicapped, um, and we couldn't find the uh, exact percentages or numbers, um, but by, judging by the amount of vets we called, uh, about 25 to 30 vets, um, lots of them actually had handicapped dogs, so we kind of noticed that it is a big problem, um, or at least starting to become a big problem, and we decided to take care of that problem. Yeah, and uh, as he said, the vets were, we had mixed responses from them, so some of them wanted, were very happy to help, they wanted to volunteer, we have two people who are interested to volunteer. We had mixed responses, so yeah, uh, we had lots who just gave us the information, who took our details, so yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. So at this point, in terms of actually starting the experimental process, do you have a, a prototype? Yeah, so here's a prototype we have, and um, it's actually, it's just a prototype, so we took the model offline, um, but it's very, so it's made so that the dog um, knob here goes in there with some cushioning, you strap it on and then it c can run it's because it has this which moves so it's same kind of joint as a dog's leg and uh, yeah so this is we just need to oil it a bit and it's got it's rough on the bottom to prevent the dog from sliding and to get some more traction which is a uh, it, and it's very impressive how, how it can be done so fast and with but every single dog will have a different a leg, it's going to be customized for the dogs, yeah. Okay, great. So that leads then to a couple more questions. Um, how long does it take to print out uh, something like your, your sample? Well, this is a, a miniature kind of example, a prototype. It would like fit a chihuahua maybe, barely, um, but uh, it would be much bigger. This has taken five hours, um, so it, it would basically be overnight and maybe partially of the day. Um, but we have that time and we have the ac accessibility um, to all the 3D printing machines is, if we're making something useful like this. So in terms of uh, thinking about customer service then, you might be in, able to turn them around every 24 hours? Yeah, with nine, person. with nine, because we have nine 3D printers, we're getting an extra two. Okay. And so we're going to be able to, every 24 hours, because it's obviously going to take less than 24 hours, depending on how big the dog is print at least a nine um, paws and we probably won't get that much demand yet, so yeah. So you have lots of capacity, which, yeah. is, which yeah. is great. And we have the free filaments, which is... Great, yeah. well that's awesome. So in terms of uh, thinking about uh, moving this from your prototype to maybe uh, developing your first one with, with a particular dog, as you, you mentioned they would be specific designs, what kind of measurements and things would you have to get from from the particular dog in order to uh, make make the, uh, the device the best fit possible? Um, because because uh, we already have two um, or dog orthopedics that are wanting to help us, they would help us with the measurements. Um, and one of them 
it for sure has a 3D scanner and the dog would go in there, check the, the 3D scan, send it to us and then we would work around designing it with the dog orthopedic to help with the measurements and the logistics. Oh, that's fantastic. So this would really be then a collaborative yeah. um, uh, project yeah. leveraging um, other 3D scanning equipment. So, mm -hmm. so that's quite interesting. So from the 3D scanner then you would able, be able to say match the other front leg for example and yeah. uh, then size up your um, um, printable model um, to match. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. fantastic. Great. Well this sounds like a wonderful adventure that's um, um, potentially going to be able to help many different uh, dogs and animals and, and uh, certainly a service where you'll, you'll have um, happy customers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, I guess um, I would like to say thank you very much for taking time to explain uh, what uh, Saving Paw Prints is all about today. It's been uh, great to meet both of you yeah. and I hope we can keep in touch yeah. and as you develop your, your project let's continue to uh, share information. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Great, thank you. Thank yeah. you.